I'm so in the Christmas spirit right now and I wish I could listen to Justin Bieber Christmas album, but YouTube likes to copyright people, so. What's up guys, welcome back to my channel. Today's video, I am teaching you how to style an all basic outfit. I have a list of 15 items that are only basics as in white shirt, black shirt, the whole shebang, something everybody would have in their closet. I created 13 like super classy, chic, effortless looks for you to do with just these 15 items. If you like videos like this, please don't forget to give this video a thumbs up because it really supports me and my channel and I will love you forever. Also, turn on the post notification bell because YouTube just doesn't like to notify people anymore, so please do that so that way you can get notified every time that I upload. And don't forget to follow me on Instagram right here because I have been super active on there recently and I mean, what's more fun than getting fashion outfit inspo every single day? So with that being said, let's go ahead and jump on into the 15 basic items that you do need. Okay guys, so for the first item, all you're going to need is just a basic white t-shirt. I get all of mine from Target because they're super cheap and they're like six bucks. This one's more of a taupey color, but you can use plain white and it'll be perfectly fine. Okay, and now for the second item, you're just going to need a black v-neck, or it doesn't have to be a v-neck. I just prefer v-necks. Um, this one is from Madewell and I love their v-necks. They are so comfortable and so soft. So yeah, just get you a black v-neck. Okay, and so for the next item, you're just going to need a white button-up. For this one, I'm just wearing my dad's because I don't own a button-up. But for the purpose of these outfits, it needs to be oversized. Okay, and this one is just going to be a cream-colored sweater. Um, I got this one from Target for $20, so if you want this exact one, I actually got it this season, so it should still be in stock but you're going to need a cream sweater. Okay, and the next one is just going to be a denim jacket. And for the purpose of these outfits, it definitely should be oversized because we are going to be layering with it. So as long as you have an oversized jean jacket, it's going to be perfect. All right, and this item is just a black leather jacket. I actually got this from Old Navy this season. I think it's on sale for $30 right now. So if you like it, definitely grab one. It is a great investment and they have it in petite and tall sizes, so yeah. Okay, this is actually just a white oversized blazer and I did get this from Target, but it was on the clearance rack. So really any kind of oversized blazer that you have is going to be perfect. I just have white, so. All right, and moving on to the next item, this one is just going to be a black dress. Any black dress will do, but if you like this one, I actually got this one from Urban Outfitters, so I highly suggest it because, you know, well, it has pockets and that makes it so much better. Okay, and the next item is just a pair of black jeans. I would suggest black jeans that aren't as ripped up as mine. I kind of wish that I didn't wear these in the video, but my little sister was wearing my other ones, so I had no choice. Okay, and the next item is just a pair of denim. I know everybody owns a pair of denim. I like mine that are high-waisted, and yeah, I mean, what else can I say about denim? Just medium wash, I guess, really is all you need. Okay, and the next item is just going to be a black belt with a gold buckle. Um, these are my favorite because I personally just wear black with gold jewelry more than I wear silver jewelry now, so... I think I got this one at Target for like 16 bucks if you like it, and it's reversible. Okay, and I don't know if y'all can see a trend going on here, but you're gonna need some gold hoops, and these are from Target also. These have been a staple item of mine for the past like year, but I think they still have them in stock because they're so popular. Okay, so moving on to the shoe portion of this, all you're going to need for this one is just going to be a pair of white sneakers and that little fuzzy thing was my dog so don't mind her but any pair of white sneakers will do they don't have to be this brand just any plain white sneakers okay and so for this item all you're going to need is just a pair of black boots i actually got these from nordstrom rack and i absolutely love them so really any pair of black booties that you like will be perfect 
Okay, well, congratulations on making it to the end of the list. So for the last item, all you're going to need is a pair of black over the knee booties, boots, I guess they're not booties, but I got these from Charlotte Russe. So definitely check them out. Okay, so here's the first outfit. I just have on my little cream sweater, my oversized long button-up shirt, which I will suggest wearing biker shorts underneath because they are see-through. So you don't want it to act, you don't actually want to not wear any pants underneath here because that would be yikes. And then I just paired it with some black over the knee boots to compensate for, well, not actually wearing an actual dress. And then we put a belt on underneath this to kind of give it more of that cropped look. That way this outfit looks intentional and not like you're just, you know, like wearing your boyfriend's or husband's shirt. Which this is what I, I would suggest is I would just suggest like getting one of the shirts that's just oversized. Like get your husband's, get your dad's, get your boyfriend's white button up and you have a really classy chic outfit you can layer it on with some jewelry you can always just pair it with a white like collared long sleeve dress or if you can find one of these that is a dress that's cute too but we have the belt on underneath here so that way whenever you lift your arms up it won't like lift everything up it'll lift the sides up a little bit and you'll have to tug them down but this is outfit number one okay so for outfit number two, I have on the same white shirt. All I did was I unbuttoned it to like the third button and then I just wrapped one side of it and wrapped it this way and took the other side and wrapped it this way. You can do whatever side makes you feel more, like more comfortable, but it's just like a cute oversized blouse. And then I just have it on with a black belt, jeans, and some white sneakers just to give it more of like a casual toned down look, but super cute. Okay, so the next outfit is just my white blazer, a, a taupe colored shirt on, my black belt, just some denim, and then my black over the knee boots. So this is the final look super cute it'd be super cute if you like pulled your hair back in a ponytail like a messy pony it just looks very chic and effortless and I really really love this outfit this is so stinking cute so yeah just my cream colored sweater and then my black dress with some black booties and then I do have my belt on underneath here to keep my sweater up. If you were to just leave the sweater down, it doesn't really look like it's supposed to be there. So yeah, this is the next outfit. Super cute, pretty casual. I would say you could wear this to work and it's like a cozy dress type of thing because you know, nobody wants to wear a dress to work and then be uncomfy the entire time so that at least this way, you kind of have this buffer for like after lunch, which I greatly appreciate because I definitely have that so yeah this is one of my favorite kind of outfits for fall slash winter because the sweater keeps me super warm but the dress just makes me look put together so so this is the next one super cute super fun we've just got on a white shirt with a black leather jacket, some denim, and then just some white tennis shoes. So yeah, this is the look all together. Super cute. Okay, so here's the next one. I just have on my white blazer with my black dress and then my gold hoops. I think honestly all of these outfits I've had my gold hoops in, but sorry I didn't mention it. My black over the knee boots, super cute, which I'm super short, so I have to be careful how I style over the knee boots because otherwise I just look 
super short. So, yeah. But this is a super cute outfit. It keeps you warm in the winter because you have something covering your legs. And then just your blazer. Super cute. It would be really cute to go into the office with. So here is the classic outfit that everybody knows and loves. It is just the denim jacket with the black v-neck or black shirt, some black jeans, and then just some black booties. This is a very classic, you know, timeless outfit. It's never really gonna go out of style. So I feel like I had to throw this one in there because, you know, everybody wears it. Sometimes people forget about it, but this is just like one of my staple outfits, so I definitely felt like I had to throw this one in there. Okay, so here is the next outfit. It is just my white button-up with my black leather jacket, my black denim, and then just my pointed toe booties. This one is super cute and super versatile. I feel like you could wear this out and I feel like you could also, I feel like you could also wear this to the office, especially if you just like changed up the jacket or, you know, or wear the jacket and wear it with like some leather leggings or something. I feel like this outfit is very, very versatile and it's super cute. Very chic. It's just a white blazer with a black V-neck the same black belt, blue jeans, and white tennis shoes. So this is the whole outfit together. Mine is just a long oversized blazer. I got it from Target. It was like 17 bucks on sale, so I had to grab it. And then it's super cute if you just like crinkle up your sleeves a little bit. And yeah, super casual, super cute, basic but you look very fashion forward as you're doing it. So 10 out of 10. Okay, so this next one is very similar to the first outfit. It is just the oversized long shirt. And then I have the sweater and the belt again, but we just paired it with jeans this time and then some black booties just to kind of give this a more like feminine, put together look if you don't want to go for that whole like schoolgirl look. Like I absolutely love this one. I will probably wear this quite a few times this year just because it's so stinking cute. Okay. The next outfit is just a it's just a cream sweater with my black leather jacket, denim, and then just some white sneakers. And then I do have on my gold hoops with these. Just to kind of, you know, give it a little something something. And you can always style these up with jewelry. Like it doesn't have to just be, you know, plain and simple. You can add a belt to this. You can tuck it in. You can wear necklaces. You can wear a scarf. So you can do multiple things with this outfit. But yeah, so here's my next outfit. I just have on a black v-neck, I think this one's from Madewell, my white blazer with my black jeans and then I have some black over the knee boots on, which you can't really tell, but super cute, keeps you warm in the winter and it's very like chic and minimal. I would personally pair this with jeans that aren't so ripped, but I don't have my black jeans that are just ripped in the knee because my little sister's wearing them. So, we're making do with what we have. But, this is a super cute, fun, like very chic outfit. So, 10 out of 10. Okay, and here is my last outfit. It is just my cream colored sweater with my denim jacket, the black jeans, and then my white sneakers. And this would be super cute if you like rolled up the sleeves to the sweater. To so this is what I was talking about. If you just roll the sleeves up over the jean jacket. So this is kind of the overview of the outfit. You could always change these shoes out to the black booties and then 
still I would just wear these I would just wear um, instead of wearing these super ripped up jeans I would just wear the ones with the rips in the knees because I think that would be cuter and I just like those pants better I think super casual super fun and there's so many more ways that you can style this stuff you don't have to style it all just the way that I did but maybe I gave you some inspiration to you know like change up your wardrobe or buy more basics you know basics are super cheap you can save a lot you know it's just finding ways to style it that fits you and your personality so I hope this video helped you out and without any further ado let's get into the outro Alrighty guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you like videos like this, don't forget to give it a thumbs up because it really supports me and my channel like I said in the beginning. So please don't forget to subscribe down below and also turn on the post notification bell. And don't forget to follow me on Instagram to get daily outfit inspo. So with that being said, I will see y'all with another fashion video on Saturday.